Okay, in this video we are going to talk about geometric series summing up to functions. So there's a couple things that you need to know before we kind of dive in. And the first one is that the sum from 0 to infinity of a times r to the n, which is kind of the classic geometric series, um, can be written, rewritten or has the sum of a, the first term, over 1 minus r, the ratio, provided that the absolute value of r is less than 1. So you have to have that memorized, otherwise this is just not going to go well for you. Um, I actually have it memorized a slightly different way. Um, what I prefer to use is the first term over 1 minus the ratio. That's just how I have it memorized. Um, it kind of saves you when instead of starting at n equals 0, it starts at n equals some other number. So that's why I think of it that way. Um, okay, so let's do an example. So um, say we have x squared over 1 minus uh, 3x. Okay. So I need to rewrite this, and just by comparison, I kind of color-coded everything. Uh, this is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of the first term, so x squared, and then uh, the times the ratio, which in this case is 3x, and then raised to the nth power. And uh, you're kind of almost done there, but what I like to do is I don't like to have a product to a power, so I like to kind of break everything apart. And then I like to have each base show up only once. So instead of having 3x all to the n, I've rewritten it as 3 to the n, x to the n. And then if you look at that, um, since we have x squared and x to the n, we can rewrite it as the sum from 0 to infinity, 3 to the n, x to the n plus 2. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to consider that absolute value of r is less than 1. So this is our r, it's 3x, so we really need the absolute value of 3x to be less than 1, but that just means that the absolute value of x is less than 1 third. So what I'll do is I'll go up and I'll add that and box it. So that's my answer. That's, that's the series equivalent of this function. Um, you might also sometimes see it written out, expanded. So when you do that, so this is when n equals 0. I plug 0 in into my, my summation that I wrote. I got x squared. Now when n equals 1, I get plus 3x cubed. When n equals 2, I get this. And you can kind of keep going. And so at some point you do plus dot 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 plus, and then you write the general term. And then plus dot 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 because it goes on forever. And then you want to include the domain there also. So absolute value of x. It's really the interval of convergence. It's not actually the domain in this case. Um, so the interval of convergence is the absolute value of x is less than one third. Plug in any number that's in that interval and you get a convergent geometric series. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So we have x over 4 plus 6x. Um, so this isn't exactly what I want. What I really want is I want this to be a 1. I don't want it to be a 4. So what I'm going to do is divide everything I see by 4 and that's going to take care of the problem. So that'll give me the quantity x over 4 over, and then this is 4 over 4 is 1, plus 6 over 4 is 3 halves, so 3x over 2, which is almost what I want, except I don't want that plus sign there. I actually want a minus sign, so it's x over 4, and then over 1, and that will be minus, and then the quantity, negative 3x over 2. So now I can see the ratio. So when you have the 1 minus in the denominator, Whatever you're subtracting is the ratio. So our ratio here is negative 3x over 2. Um, okay, so now I've got it written in a form that I recognize. So I can just jump in here. So it's the first term, which is x over 4. And then the ratio, which is negative 3x over 2 to the nth power. And then, as I mentioned, I don't like to leave a product uh, to a power. So I'm going to rewrite this as... So we've got a numerator and a denominator. So it's x then there's a negative 1 to the n, then there's a 3 to the n, and then there's a x to the n, and then all over uh, 4 times 2 to the n. And here we can clean up a little bit. The weirdest part is probably the denominator. Um, so the numerator, we just get this. And then there's x to the first and x to the n, so that'll be x to the n plus 1. And then in the denominator, since I have a 2 to the n, I'm going to rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So it's 2 squared times 2 to the n is 2 to the n plus 2. But I have to worry about um, the interval, so I know that the absolute value of r needs to be less than 1. So the absolute value of negative 3x over 2 is less than 1, 
means that the absolute value of x is less than two-thirds. And so I'm going to add that and box it. All right, let's take a look at another problem. So this one's going to be a little different. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this. We know that the sum from 0 to infinity of x to the n is 1 plus x plus x squared plus dot 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 plus x to the n plus dot dot dot. And we know that that sums up to 1 over 1 minus x, as long as the absolute value of x is less than 1. Um, so what we can do is if we start with a function, so say we start with 2x cubed over 2 plus 4x squared. If I can rewrite this so that it looks roughly like that sum, then I can uh, kind of piece by piece create my series. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create um, the 1, and then I'm also going to change it to a minus in the denominator. So... Uh, I'm dividing everything I see by 2, and then I'm rewriting the denominator. Instead of having 1 plus 2x squared, I'm doing 1 minus negative 2x squared. Um, and now it's exactly what I want, except for that x cubed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to factor the x cubed out. So this is a little weird, um, but it works really nicely in terms of building the series term by term, which is something that I do kind of frequently. Because now, if I look just at 1 over 1 minus the quantity of negative 2x squared, I can write a series for that. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up to the top where I wrote 1 plus x plus x squared. Every x that I see, I'm going to replace with the quantity negative 2x squared. And so that's going to look like 1. And then I'm replacing x with negative 2x squared, so minus 2x squared. And then the next one is going to actually be plus because it's like u squared that I'm substituting into, you could say. So it's going to be plus 2 squared and then x to the 4th, and then it'll be minus again, 2 cubed, x to the 6th, and then we go dot, 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 and then here it's going to be negative 1 to the n, uh, 2 to the n, and then x to the 2n, because it's the quantity negative 2x squared all to the n. And so that's uh, almost what we want, but remember there's an x squared, so what we want to do, or an x cubed rather, that's kind of hanging around. Um, so x cubed times the thing on the left is going to be equal to x cubed times the thing on the right. And so to save some time, I'm just going to paste that. So we get that. And then if I term by term expand on the right, I end up with the original thing, or its exact equivalent, is equal to, and now just distribute your x cubed all the way through. So basically all the exponents change. So we get this. That's going to be eventually a plus dot 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 plus. So the negative 1 to the n uh, is not impacted. Um, the 2 to the n is not impacted. But now I have x to the 2n times x cubed. So that'll be x to the 2n plus 3. And it goes on forever. So plus dot dot dot. But I do have to worry about the interval. So if I worry about the interval, I know that the absolute value of that r that I had has to be less than 1, which means the absolute value of x squared has to be um, less than one half, uh, which means that the absolute value of x needs to be less than one half to the one half, which is kind of weird, but here's my final answer, which I built term by term this time. Okay, so um, that's a couple of examples of things you can do with geometric series. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.